I've come to terms with it. Wait, the ADHD allows me to not actually, you know, hurt, you know, beat myself up about it. I can kind mm -hmm. of just let it be in a way that other people would now be furiously searching through all this stuff. I am, there, there are even people who they've heard me tell these stories and they've contacted me and said, look, I will help you. I will help you search, search, search for this stuff. And I'm like, no, I just need to let it. I just need to let it go. And I, I actually can just let it go because it's not good for me to, to search. Yes, I've put a bit of effort into it because suddenly Bitcoin's turned out to be worth like $70,000. And, uh, you know, well, it, it, it was a time, you know, the time to try and uh, find out if, if there was anything worth salvaging there. But so uh, I, I'm reading this book, Why We Change and 10 Reasons Why We Don't. And the author, Ross Ellenhorn, makes the point that the primary reason that we do successfully change is that we have contemplated something. We have come to terms with the, the price of what we're doing and we see the benefits of doing something differently. And that this internal directed change is the most effective type of change. And, and I think that's apropos here. I think we, we are better off when we try to learn from these mistakes and problems and, and losses as opposed to just blithely dismissing them. doesn't mean that you curl into a ball and don't leave the house for a month. But I think that there is a good adaptive case to be made for intensely feeling the loss, all the dimensions of the loss, and then constructing a more adaptive path forward.